hand mixer is used for a wide variety of materials. Uh, primarily it's used for refractory materials, so it's able to handle 2,000 pounds at 165 pounds cubic foot density weight. Also available in electric and a hydraulic drive. So this particular pan mixer is set up for a hydraulic power supply powered off of a pump that's going to be used. So it has one inch quick disconnect here to be able to plug into a pump or it could be plugged into just an electric to hydraulic power supply. So this particular model of pan mixer is set up with a hydraulic motor to a gearbox drive to drive the paddles in the mixer. Our pan mixer does have a drain valve on it and it also does have an expansion tank up here. Um, it does have two side glasses to monitor the fluid level, uh, but it also does allow for expansion of the gear fluid in the gearbox when it does get warm. So our 2,000 pound pan mixer, this is in its stowed position, so it has adjustable legs that will go up, so they have pins to raise them up and down. It'll raise up to get the discharge heights up enough to be able to get into a bucket or into a pump. Our pan mixer has four pockets that are accessible from all four sides. It also has four lifting lugs to be able to crane the, ma the machine up. So these are our four lifting lugs uh, for being able to crane the machine up to be able to access different areas. This is our ladder, it's a two-piece ladder. Uh, you can add that section of ladder onto the bottom and then you have full access to your work platform. So our second ladder section does have a storage place built into the mixer. For your second piece of your ladder. And then it's got straps to keep it in place and secure during transport. So this is the thickness of the bottom of our drum. It is 5.8 AR500. Our pan mixer has a 20 gallon water tank on it. So this water box has a easy to read sight glass. These are our water bungs. So these are measured out at five gallons, 10 gallons, 15 gallons, and 20 gallons. Uh, you can remove these and then there is a, a spare bung to be able to place the bung that's not being used. So then it'll overflow when it's full. Um, you are able to fill it from a, a water bar that's below input water into this bar, and then you're able to have some extra ports to be able to have water hoses for washing out buckets or rinsing off the discharge chute or anything that you may need. Each one of these Chicago fittings does have its own valve, so it's able to be shut on and off individually. It also does feed our water box um, with a separate line that goes up in a valve. So our quick connect fill hose from the water bar down below, and then it's got a valve to turn the water on and off. So this is the fill valve or the dump valve for the water tank. You're able to dump the water into the pan mixer using this valve. It also does have a quick disconnect to be able to remove the hose and fold the water box down for travel. So this is our heavy duty grating for the top of the pan mixer. The water comes out of the water box and into this distribution hose. You're able to spread the water throughout the mixer. It doesn't matter, you can pierce this hose wherever you want, leave, leave that up to the client, or you can just have it dump out in two spots. We have a rubber wiper here to keep the top cover clean during operation so there's not a bunch of buildup on top of there. It has a tube paddle design. It's able to mix very fast and mix a lot of different materials. Our pan mixer has a manual operated door so there's no power necessary for, for emptying the mixer. It operates with a simple safety and then you can lift it up and open the door and then you can also just close it just as simply and it does lock in place so that it doesn't pop open during mixing. Our pan mixer comes with a removable bag breaker. You're able to place this anywhere on the grating to be able to pierce your bags. Also able to store it inside the pan mixer so it is under the height requirement for shipping. Uh, if you need any more information or you want to contact me, please reach out to me by phone or email.